Hello, and welcome back to recitation. The problem I'd like to work with you right now is uh, we want to, we have a line which goes through two points that are given to us uh, explicitly. And we have a plane which is given to us by an equation. And uh, what we want to know is uh, where does this line intersect this plane? And so uh, one thing I would suggest to get started is we need to give a parameterization of our line to get started. OK, so why don't you work on that, pause the tape, and we'll come back in a moment and work it out together. OK, welcome back. Let's get started. So let's, let's start off by drawing a cartoon of what's going on here. So we have this plane uh, sitting in space. And we have some line kind of going, going uh, through space. So maybe it's like this. And, uh, and there's this, this single point of intersection. So even from the cartoon, we can kind of sort of see two things which are, which are going on, which is that um, you know, we would expect uh, a point of intersection, and we would expect exactly one uh, if we choose kind of a generic line and a generic plane. In order for there to be no points of intersection, we would have to have a line which was parallel to the plane is very unlikely. Um, and so, and then otherwise, we expect exactly just one point of intersection. So um, I want to break this into two, uh, I want to break this sort of into two components. So we have an equation We have an equation for the plane. And when I see an equation describing a plane, I think of that as a sort of test for membership. Uh, we can plug in a point x, y, z to the equation, and we can ask, does this, equation, does, does this point make the equation true, or doesn't it? And if it does, then that point x, y, z is in the plane, and otherwise it's not in the plane. Um, for the line, what we're going to need to do in a second is we're going to need to come up with a parameterization. And a parameterization is a different kind of thing than, a, than a, an equation describing the line. A parameterization, rather than being a test for membership, it's really a, a, a way of listing all the points on the line. So when we give a parameterization in a second, then we're going to be able to list all the points in the line. And then we're going to be able to plug our list into the equation for the plane and find out which point on our list is actually uh, in the plane, which one satisfies the membership equation. So uh, why don't we get started first with parameterizing the, uh, the line. So, so the general kind of picture here is we have a point P1 in space, and we have another point P2 in space, and we want to parameterize the line which goes between them. And there's actually a very simple way to do this. What we do is we want to take our original point P1, And we want to uh, add a variable t times the vector p2 minus p1, which connects them. So that's this one here. OK. So uh, this is a reasonable thing to do, because if we, if we plug in t equals 0, then we just get p1. And if we plug in t equals 1, then we get p1 plus p2 minus p1. We just get p2. So, uh, so this, uh, this line definitely goes through those two points, and that's all that we really need. So in our, in our specific problem here, uh, we have uh, p1 we can take to be the first point, 0, minus 1, 1. And then we have t times, so we have uh, 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 minus a negative 1 is 4. And 3 minus 1 is 2. And this is the vector connecting those. And so we can write, we can just uh, combine these two, and we get 2t uh, 2t t 4t minus 1 and 2t plus 1. Okay, so this here is our uh, 
this here is a, is a parameterization of the line. So as we vary t, now uh, walking back over to our picture, as we vary t, we're going to uh, just be listing all the points on the line. And we're going to ask for which point are we actually contained in the plane. So let's go over to the uh, board over here and solve that. So what we want to know is, does this point satisfy the equation for the plane? And our plane was given to us by the equation 2x plus y minus z equals 1. So uh, x uh, in our, on our line is 2t. So we have 2 times 2t plus y is 4t minus 1 minus z is 2t plus 1. And all of this is meant to equal 1. OK, so uh, if, we, if we expand this out, we get uh, 4t plus another 4t minus 2t. And we get minus 1 minus another 1. So we get minus 2 equals 1. So altogether, we get uh, 6t equals 3. So that tells us that t is 1 half. Okay, And uh, finally, to get our answer, we need to uh, go back over to our parameterization of the line and plug in t equals 1 half. So coming back over here, plugging in t equals 1 half, we get 1. Um, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so we get the point of intersection 1, 1, 2. So that was quite a, that was a, that was quite a few steps. So let's review what we did. So to begin with, we needed to understand that the equation for a plane is a test for membership. It's not a list of all the points in the plane. It's a test for membership. The parameterization of the line, on the other hand, is, is a way of listing all of the points on the line. And so if our goal is to find which particular point on the line is contained in the plane, then we need to parameterize our line. And then we need to plug in our parameterization to our equation for the plane, and then solve for the, the, the value of t, which makes it true. Finding that t, then we've, uh, that's equivalent to finding a point on our line. And I think I'll leave it at that. <laughs>